Hello guys, and welcome back. The reason why I'm not showing my face in this video is because of the bingo. Well, I'm not showing my, um, my face, um, for this part of the video. So yeah, let's go. Okay. Frequent stimming, easily overstimulate, avoiding or first eye contact. I don't have difficulty making friends, but I I have difficulty um keeping friends. Rigid. Or rigid with rules or routines, obsessive interests. Hold on. Voice. I had to look up um a social um what it means. So yeah. <laughs> Not proceed as food. Uh, misophonia definition. Oh, one of the common sounds. Um. Oh, such as the ticking of a clock, the hum of a fluorescent light, or the chewing or breathing of another person cause an atypical emotional response, such as disgust, distress, panic, or anger. No. Strong sense of justice. Actually, scratch. No, scratch that. Cause I don't know what that means. I don't know what love systemizing is. I don't know what scripted small talk is, but I am upset at small changes with plans. Uh, I don't know if I have obsessive compulsive tendencies, and I don't really make others uncomfortable. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to the AI. Off again. So, this AI has wrote some stories about um, Ryuji and the other Phantom Thieves being autistic. So, Ryuji Sakamoto has always known that he was different. As a child, he struggled with social interactions and communication. Often feeling like he didn't fit in with his peers. It wasn't until he was a teenager that he finally received a diagnosis of autism. At first, <laughs> Ryuji felt relieved to have a name for the struggles he had faced throughout his life. But as he began 
to research more about autism and its representation in society, he became increasingly frustrated and angry. One organization in particular, Autism Speaks, caught his attention. Despite its name, Ryuji could see that this organization did not speak for him or for the autism community as a whole. In fact, he saw it as a hate group that perpetrated. I think I butchered that word, sorry. Negative stereotypes and harmful attitudes towards autistic individuals. Those guys don't know anything about autism, Ryuji would often say to his friends, the Phantom Thieves. They just want to cure us or make us normal. Ryuji was determined to speak out against Autism Speaks and other organizations that claim to represent the autism community, but in reality did more harm than good. He used his platform as a member of the Phantom Thieves to raise awareness and advocate for the rights and needs of autistic individuals. As he continued to speak out, Ryuji found a community of other autistic individuals who shared his frustrations and concerns. He began to feel more empowered and proud of his identity as an autistic person, and he refused to let harmful organizations like Autism Speaks define him. I am who I am, and I'm not going to change for anyone, he declared to the Phantom Thieves one day. Autism is not a disease or a disorder. It's just a different way of being, and that's okay. The Phantom Thieves support Ryuji's mission to raise awareness and advocate for the autism community. They knew that he had a powerful voice and a unique perspective, and they were proud to stand by his side as he fought for respect and understanding. In the end, Ryuji's advocacy work paid off. He was able to raise awareness about the harmful attitudes and stereotypes perpetuated by organizations like Autism Speaks, and he helped to promote a more inclusive and accepting society for all individuals, regardless of their neurodiversity. <sighs> okay. So, that's it for the video. Bye, guys.